Oh, wow. So it's actually already just found where to put it automatically in this studio. For collaborative content creation, we introduce Sanity Create with automatic content mapping. It's free form collaborative content creation space that is supercharged by AI in a novel way. By bringing all your notes and background information into the space, the team can co-create together. And with an AI that is actually super informed, has all the facts and is aligned with the goals of the team. In this space, the team is free to create in a free form way without worrying too much about the final form and the structure of the content. But in reality, Sanity Create is watching the content take shape and in real time, implementing it in its final form. Once the draft is done, the content is 90% implemented and ready to go live, practically skipping a whole step of having to copy paste content into fields. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Sanity's Winter Releases 2024. So I'm here with Sonny Sanga that will be demoing all three releases too. Hey, how's it going, guys? I'm Sonny, a YouTuber, and I built some pretty cool builds using Sanity's tech. Really, really excited to see what we've got in store today. Let's have a look. What if you could like just write the way you sort of want and think the way you want to sort of think, but then get that into your content management system without all the copying and pasting that you are used to? Yeah, I definitely find that I'm always finding myself writing the stuff in Notion, Google Docs, because they have a ton of features that I like, then I end up copying it in. So is this a solution towards something around that? This is a solution to something like that. So Create that we're going to show is a solution to just a better writing experience, like a modern freeform writing experience. And then automatic content mapping is just a way of getting all that stuff in a structured way into a content management system when you're done. So awesome. that's what we're going to show. Cool. Let's look at it. Your sanity awesome. dashboard is so much more packed out than mine. So I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. This is the this is the demo. So this is uh, a this is like a fictitious bicycle company that's signing up a right. new cyclist. So that's what we're going to sort of look at here. So here we're going to the editorial articles. Santi Create allows you to work with other people and large language models. And the way this works is that we have a space. I mean, you always need notes, right? And other tools force you to keep your notes inside the document itself. Here right. you can just like, there's like a holding pattern for these guys and you can like, so here we're like putting in, uh, we're putting in Annie Speed's race stats, her bio, all of the background stuff and yep. then her press kit. So th the stuff you're adding here, is this actually, is this just like notes for me to look at and then write my document or is there something linked to what we'll be doing in the document? Like is there any, besides a view, is there something that you're doing with the information that I'm uploading? Yeah, it's so you can use it for reference yourself, but we're also showing all of this information to a large language model. So it's already taken all of your information and then categorized it. And then it right. can use that to actually help you do sort of writing. Nice. So it's kind of the context for the LLM, yeah? Exactly. We put it into the window of the LLM. And then what we've found is that it's almost it's almost impossible to get large language models to do the right thing unless they have context, right? So right. here it's read all of my notes and it's going like, and it's and it's also really useful if you do a little bit of the writing also. So I'm like, Annie Speed isn't interested in her equipment as when she's racing. And then the machine can go like, she's fully focused on her, on her performance and it can complete your sentence. Uh, but if you'd <laughs> like give it, sorry. Can I? This is super nice because I always find that I'm struggling to write, especially documents lately. Coding makes you, everything is shorthand. So this is essentially auto-completing what I'm writing with AI, right? Exactly. And it's very hard to do that in a chat-based interface because you actually want to take turns. So nice. here we're like asking it to come up with some options. So it's like, you might consider this and then we remove this because it's not the right thing. And then we could just keep on sort of going. So it's this sort of like, this kind of turn taking where if the machine gets something wrong, I can fix it and then keep on going. I do a little bit. It does a sort of little bit. Is it just a better way of, of making this happen? Right. So that's the autocomplete. And then I can see we've got this instruction going on here. What, what can I do with this? Now, because sometimes you just want to like ask the machine to do stuff. So here we can be like, find a quote from Annie about her, her joining because we 
think we remember that there's a sort of quote there and we can ask it to find that. And then right. you know, like have text editing so you can just like block quote that and sort of and just keep on sort of going. That's really cool. So that pulled from, for example, a PDF that I've uploaded to my notes on the side, and then it's all that in context. But I thought, oh, wow, that's really cool. Nice. Yeah, so it's so it's kind of like it's just like a better way of sort of working and a better way of so here it's doing a search, but you can like also write in write instructions that goes find and that goes and finds that exact sort of quote, which is a which is a chore if you need to do that with GPT. Then you have to like stuff all of that stuff into the window uh, yeah. of the model through the interface, which is just a lot of work. So this is a good way of turn taking and sort of getting it done. I can imagine this would be really powerful with some kind of e-commerce store, you know, where you've got a ton of resources, pictures, PDFs, launch plans, and then you need to write a document for it or a blog post. You could literally just dump it all in, in the notes and yeah. then just start writing. And it has, that's really cool. And how would I take, for example, this that we've written right now and connect this over to what I'm used to in Sanity Studio. So where I would usually have like a text entry where I can have the rich text editor. How do I take this and put it over there? And then if I want to carry on editing, how does it work? So in the corner here, there's a little button that says Studio Link. And Studio Link, I mean, we follow the link in, right? So as we've been going, this has been writing. And this has been mapping this into the studio that we came from. So the reason all of this text is green is because it's already mapped. And all of this is already done. So you're telling me when you say mapped, oh, wow. So it's actually already just found where to put it. Wow, that's that's really cool. And is it real time if I start editing on the left? Am I going to get updates on the right? So I'm it used is. to the live and like, is that still happening here? It's still happening here. So it just flows directly sort of through. And then when we're, we're on the left hand here, we are like, let's add an image, right? And yeah. then we add an image here. And then the model's like, hey, there's a featured article so it probably should go there. It's nowhere else it could go, really. It's the first one, so it's probably the featured one. When developing this feature, we looked at a lot of documents from marketing departments. And the documents that come from uh, places like Google Docs are full of these annotations where people are kind of like, use this page component and do this thing. And we, inspired by that, we do exactly the same thing. So if you show up with something like featured article, absolutely then it's going to toggle that button. That's super cool. So even seeing it in real time, super, super nice. I had a question. When you uh, actually, when it was highlighting in green, is it yeah. scanning over the document in real time? Yes. Is, is that yeah. happening automatically or do I have to click every time? No, no, it just it, it just sort of happens. That's super, super cool. Wow, because I already felt like we had an abstraction when we had the preview mode in studio. Yeah. This is like another abstraction where an editor doesn't really have to know or use the side. They can just click Studio Link, carry on editing, not worry about yeah. the back end. And I guess exactly. that's, that's very, very cool. So nice. this is this is also because we see that in many organizations, the people authoring the content, they don't actually work in the content management system because it's, it's it can be pretty technical. So this is a way for other people to maybe do more of that work in a place where they their content can actually become st structured without someone having to do that explicitly as an extra job at the end of it. Yeah, make it, wow, that's just very, very cool. I'm impressed, oh, nice. <laughs> so just to show sort of more of the, what, what this can do, you can like, here you can like add a bunch of images and it goes like, hey, that's probably, uh, that's probably a gallery uh, because we, and again, here sort of like, this is because there is a image array in the portable text and there is a carousel in the sort of website that's mapped to it. So, but because of that, all of this stuff can just flow all the way sort of through. It just goes end to end. So this works with nested schema types, like, like you mentioned, arrays of, of, of objects. So it can even get to that level. It's not just the surface that you're It can. Wow. So an example of sort of that is this, where we're like, uh, here we're having it write uh, a few short sections about Annie's big wins. Here it's just culling from her bio and from this comma separated file. And it's going yeah. through it. And when we accept it, it, it maps. But as you say, this is just like a surface level kind of just maps it sort of through. Uh, yeah. But here we can also ask it to, because we, it takes a little bit too much space. So we're like, it would be great if you, we could show these as an accordion no from way. here to yeah. uh, here. And then it's like, oh, yeah, sure, 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 sure. I'll, accordion, fine. 
And so there it like takes that text, wraps it into individual objects that are embedded in that document and then does it as an accordion. Wow. So provided we've given it the, the structure of an accordion, given it the component on the front end, it will literally just use that. If we just provide that comment saying, use it from here to here, make it an accordion. And oh, that's wow. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's exactly the kind of, uh, it's exactly the kind of, uh, instructions you would give a person, right? You would be like, ah, oh, do sort of this and from here to here. And, and, it, and it can do that. It will pick those things up. And, um, as you were saying, sort of like, can it do more complicated stuff? Um, this is an article that we've prepared where there's like loads of landing page stuff and specified a slug and a language and all the sort of stuff. And then, uh, and then when we link through, it's, it's managed to sort of do it. Uh, so it's still it's mapped in, it's uh, still doing it. It's still live, but here's like mapped an entire landing page rig. So nice. uh, I remember you had a really cool feature, a QR code that you could scan and people could go ahead and yeah. use it. And people yeah. loved it and put that on a build. Can we do that with this? And does it feed through? You can do that with this also. You can like share the preview with a QR code, get a live preview to look at on an iPad. And then you can like edit this document and then see how it's going to look like on remote devices or other people can use that share link to see the current state of the build and see it update in, in real time. All of these features stack. So it's kind of like the... The um, the studio is real time multiplayer. Create does the mapping in sort of real time. The preview is real time. So all of these things work together as you would expect. That that's super cool. And you mentioned multiplayer, so two of us could be editing this at the same time, see different changes. Yeah. Would work. Nice. Yeah. Wow. So here we're like it is one directional, so that you have to make the changes on the sort of create side and have them flow sort of through till you feel that you're sort of done. But yeah. two people can definitely work on it in the sort of a create document. One person can be adding notes, the other person can be sort of writing. All of these things are are just like multiplayer real time as you would. Oh, as you I would see. Expect. So you can actually have several people in the sanity create document. Oh yeah, yeah. It's the oh, sort of like the, there are real time cursors and uh, everything just works as you would uh, expect. Wow, that's really really cool. I can imagine teams loving that. So yeah, that could be massively useful. Yeah. So the, so when you feel that you're done, you can click on this unlink button and then the documents are sort of ripped apart and then uh, and then you can continue using the new features for visual editing that we're going to be talking about in the next video uh, that I'm going to be showing sort of next where you can take these landing pages and uh, and actually just zoom out so that you can see the entire thing and then uh, and then edit it more easily than I think people ever have. Awesome. Yeah, I, I just saw a glimpse of a feature that you just showed. And that is one massive pain point when I've had worked with any drag and drop where I drag something <laughs> and I hold the cursor carefully. So I look forward to seeing that.